Fresh mags and body bags. Fresh mags and body bags. What is up, guys? Goldglyph here, and this is some Medal of Honor Warfighter gameplay footage. So, uh, you guys may have seen my live stream that uh, I, or it was like a live stream replay that I uploaded. It was like three hours long of just pure gameplay footage and like pretty much live commentary as I was playing throughout. But this gameplay actually came before I did that live stream. So. I just unlocked the uh, Spec Ops uh, kind of class, I guess. I guess it would be the class, yeah. The character where you can use uh, this, uh, I think it's an MK-18. And you have this ability uh, where you can do a signal scan. So you'll see towards the bottom of the screen, right or to the right of the mini-map the, of the radar, there's this little thing that says click up on the D-pad for a signal scan, which is basically like a mini HRV if you've ever played uh, maybe Blacklight. Uh, Retribution or Blacklight Tango Down, um, there's this ability to see through walls. And so that's kind of the ability for this class. You're able to see through walls, you're able to pick up signal scans of other uh, enemy players uh, for about two or three seconds. It's very, very quick. You have to make the best of it, and then it uh, you have to wait till it like kind of reloads itself and so you can use it again. So you see right there, I'm able to use it. Uh, I see someone that's marked on the screen uh, from one of my teammates. I try to kill him, but in, I end up getting tomahawked in the back by the enemy. So kind of a uh, poor start to this, but I do start to get familiar with the weapon and kind of the class and stuff like that. So I wanted to kind of talk a little bit about Medal of Honor, what I think about it so far, and to kind of disprove a lot of the uh, the theories that are going on about this game. So. A lot of people say it's clunky. I think it's a preference. I think it's really what, uh, I don't know. For me, look at this. That is the best kill animation. Just beating the shit out of that guy with a tomahawk. Um, for me, I, I really, really, really think that the controls are better than Battlefield 3. And I'm going to get a lot of flack for that. That's understandable. Um, but, oh, by the way, if you notice when I use my jammer, that's kind of a, that's a, a support streak. Um, when I use my jammer, I teleport it through the wall. Apparently, that is a glitch that they have to fix. Uh, this is the beta, obviously. Um, so, there's going to be some bugs, but that is one of the bugs that I've noticed. Uh, whenever you place a jammer, if you're going towards a wall, you can actually teleport through it. So, uh, maybe you can find some awesome places to sit. But anyway, um, so yeah. Anyways, I've been playing this game. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Um, I think the controls are better than Battlefield 3. I Obviously, they're not as tight as uh, maybe Call of Duty. Uh, Call of Duty, you feel like you actually are, you know, you're controlling your character, but your, your character has no weight. It doesn't really matter. Um, I mean, yes, you can be a light, a guy with a light machine gun, you're running slowly, but for the most part, your character has no weight. It doesn't feel like you're rotating a guy with a bunch of armor. Um, in this game, it really does. It feels like you're actually, uh, you know, you're a guy that is equipped with a body armor and you have a heavy weapon and, you know, you can't obviously turn your body very quick. Um, so I like the controls. I like the, it, the movements felt pretty smooth to me. I liked how it felt. Um, it felt better than Battlefield for me. I think this is a dragon fire, which is basically just a, you set it on a point and then it drops down and drops a missile down on somebody. I don't know if I actually get a kill with it. I found that I'm, I wasn't really getting that many kills with these support streaks, right? These support streaks, oh, it looks like I did get a kill in the kill feed. So I got one kill using my dragon fire. But uh, for the most part, I found myself not being able to get that many kills with these support streaks. You know, you're supposed to get these points. You're supposed to play the objective. You're supposed to be helping your team. And in the, uh, you know, in the event of that, uh, you're able to get support streaks that will further help your team. So right there, I unlocked a radar jammer and a uh a smoke screen so you unlock two support streaks for each kind of level um but you're not able to use each one you have to choose one so the one on the left d-pad is going to be an offensive score streak and the one on the right is going to be defensive so if you're maybe uh on the attacking side and you're trying to plant a bomb uh you can throw up a smoke screen for your uh teammates and they're able to set a bomb without being taken out or if you're on offense obviously or defense I mean I don't know it, it's kind of hard to explain if you're playing defense you may want a more uh, offensive support streak to be able to um, you know mess up the the team that's attacking so you could throw up a radar jammer and you could uh, you know really mess the people up you wouldn't I, I wouldn't say that using a smoke screen when you're playing defense is very smart unless you're maybe trying to flank up behind the enemies but um, there's really no point in trying to cover up you know your your team when you're the ones defending um, unless you're, like I said, trying to make a flank, but, um, I found that the jammer is most useful when you're, when you're playing defense. I think right now we are on the defensive side, so, 
kind of how that works is uh, you have two teams and there's five different objectives in this game. I don't know if this is just the, the default game mode or if this is just one of the game modes that they're trying to showcase. But at the top of the screen, you guys can see that there are five little boxes. And uh, there's two that have X's on it and there's two that have check marks. So the two that have X's mean that the, uh, the planting team was able to plant and blow up two objectives and the check marks are two objectives that we were able to defend. So we are in the last one, it's best of three, so the first time with three objectives wins and it is. it looks like we're down to the very last one. And so it's up here in this top corner of the map by this like tower and you have to defend it at all costs and I'm able to take out like I think two guys, maybe one guy right there as he's planting the bomb. And I end up picking up a warthog which is like a, which is like a, um, a plane that flies by and drops down bombs or, or comes through and shoots whoever's in that this little circle that you guys saw when I put down that kill streak. Um, but so far I really 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 like this game type. It's a nice change of pace. Um, I wish you could kind of switch sides because each game um, you're either on defense or offense. You're either planting or you're defending. You don't actually get to switch sides and then they pick like a winner out of both sides. So you either you either join a game and you're playing defense or you either join a game or you're playing offense. And that is the entire game. Um, you don't you don't get to switch sides. You either you know defend or you you blow up all the motherfucking objectives. Um, I, I did play around with most of the majority of the classes. I used the sniper. I didn't really find myself doing too well with the sniper on this map. Maybe uh, other maps will be larger. Um, in terms of map size, I'm sure a lot of people are curious about that. Uh, the map size of this game is pretty much take Call of Duty, take Battlefield, right in the middle. That is how big these Medal of Honor maps are, or this one in particular anyway. Um, I'm not sure if maybe they're going to have a, a larger scaled map uh, for sniping or something like that. I'm sure they will. Uh, but for the most part, I found that this map was not good for sniping at all. I was uh, using the Spec Ops class, which I feel like is kind of like an SMG class in a sense. It's kind of run gun. You're very quick. Uh, you know, very light armor. You have a quick gun with very little recoil, and it's you're kind of stealthy. You know, obviously Spec Ops. So your special ops, you're, you're kind of the badass. And uh, right here, you'll see me. I, I don't have any ammo, and the reason for that is uh, we. This is at the point. This is probably my second or third game. And um, I actually had to wait for my squad member to come and give me uh, health. So you're in fire teams. Instead of Battlefield where it's like four people, it's actually, uh, it's actually a team or a squad of two people. And you're able to give, your, uh, give each other health and ammo at any moment, which is really cool. So right here, I unlock the highest score streak for this class, which is an Apache gunship. And not only am I able to fly this thing around and shoot missiles, but my uh, my fire team member, uh, Jake Desig, he's actually the gunner of the of the Apache. So he is sitting in the back shooting um, guns, and he's able to see um, the enemies as like white kind of white figures. And he's actually telling me where people are. He's telling me where to fly. At this moment, I'll be honest, I'm kind of shooting the missiles blindly. Um, because I didn't really know the map, I didn't really know callouts, we didn't really know, you know, any locations of where to call out um, opponents. Um, but we end up getting a decent amount of kills, and every time Jake got a kill, I got um, some assist points. I got some points that, or I got some points that added up to our overall score. And towards the end of the game, the team with the highest fire team uh, score is uh, is kind of uh, marked as the the badasses, you know, the number one ranked. So at the very end, you'll see this, it kind of goes into a cutscene at the end of the game where it shows our characters and it shows our score to everybody and it kind of flaunts our, um, kind of flaunts how, how well we did in the match. So that's kind of what's coming up right here. So we ended up finishing this match pretty damn well. I think we ended up defending this last objective and taking the victory in this match. Uh, and we ended up with like 9,720 points, which is okay. I think later on, myself and Bendro ended up getting like 15 or 16,000 points total. So... I ended up finishing this game 33 and 15. This has been Medal of Honor Warfighter with Gold Glove. Thank you guys for watching my video. If you guys want to check out more, if you guys think this game is worth buying, be sure to give the video a like. Be sure to leave me a comment, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.